Welcome to D&D Outdoors. I'm your host, Scott. And today we're testing the Four Patriots Sun Kettle, a solar water heater. Please do not rely on this or use this to make safe drinking water out of potentially unsafe drinking water. Please do not do that. So basically what this is, is a device that heats water. Now according to the chart on the box here, it should heat the water up to approximately um, 120 degrees range in 30 minutes. And they also claim that you should be over 200 degrees in 60 minutes using this sun kettle. We're gonna test that out today in a couple of different scenarios uh, to see just how well this heats up water. Now, this I actually got for free. It came with a uh, Four Patriots, one of their food packs. Um, a, a friend of mine had actually bought you know, several of their items and he got a couple of these and he didn't need you know, more than one. So uh, he actually gave me this. So I got this for free for the testing. So it worked out well. And also this is no commentary on the Four Patriots company or their food or anything in general. Um, as a matter of fact, um, the buddy that got this actually um, had a couple issues uh, with one of the packages that the food arrived in and the customer service was actually fabulous. They took care of them within like a day or two, had the new item. So their customer service and everything, according to him, uh, was actually really good. The basic principle is you pour some water in here and it's going to heat this up. And how it's going to do it is you open this up here and then you place, there's two little notches here place the stand here inside the notches, spread it out, and then with your water inside, these mirrors will reflect onto, you know, whatever kind of technology they got here and heat up the water. Take the top off here and you pour your water down in here. Now it says to leave about two inches from the rim to allow for steam. And then you seal this up and open those bad boys up. Put it in the notches here. Set it out in the sun. And there you go. Now they also claim that uh, for optimal conditions, if you have a low sun, you know, if it's like this and you've got a low sun on the horizon, it's best to you know raise this up more to face the sun now i'm not exactly sure how you do that this little stand they got doesn't adjust so i guess you'd have to find something to prop it up on i don't know so that's what they suggest <clears throat> you know set it out like this with the sun coming down the sun's low you know ideally you would prop it up with the sun you know i guess you just have to stack something under there i don't know <laughs> so, something i want to highlight uh, from our testing, this sun kettle claims to be able to hold and heat 16.9 ounces of water. These Aquafina water bottles here claim to be 16.9 ounces. And when I first filled this up, left a couple inches from the rim at the top there, I noticed extra water here and quite frankly, I was a little concerned. This is 16.9 ounces, right? And it says it's gonna hold 16.9 ounces. Why do I have water left in the bottle? Well, I actually used my measuring cup and poured one of these water bottles in it just to see uh, exactly what it would come out as far as ounces. And kind of to my surprise, it actually came out directly on the 18 ounce mark of the measuring cup. So there actually is a little more than 16.9 ounces in these bottles. So maybe this is actually 16.9 ounces, even with leaving the space below the rim like the instructions tell you to do. They claim, you know, this is good for heating water, obviously maybe melting some snow for drinking. And also they claim it pasteurizes water, kills Giardia and other, you know, waterborne bacteria and whatnot. They claim it heats it up hot enough to do that. We gotta see. Um, we actually need to heat the water to 160 degrees for at least a minute and that'll kill about 99% of all the bad stuff. So. If it gets it up to 160 degrees uh, for at least a minute, in theory, uh, that would be good for killing bacteria and you know potentially making the water uh, that you have safe to drink. So let's test it out and see what happens. So for our testing, what I did is I actually uh, tested with the sun kettle 
as well as two different kind of controls, if you will. One, using just a measuring cup, completely open air, uh, just poured a little bit of water in and left it out in the sun to see what temperature that would get to. And the other is, is just a plain plastic water drinking bottle sealed with the lid, laid it in the sun as well uh, to see how hot it would get. Um, so we got kind of two controls compared to our sun kettle here uh, just to see kind of how it relates. I actually tested this two different times on two different days under two pretty different conditions. It's hard here in Texas to get much, you know, different conditions in July, which is what it is now. So <laughs> we we're lucky enough recently uh, that we had a little bit of a cooler day than normal. It was about 87, 88 degrees for the high. Uh, it was partly sunny skies, uh, so I thought that was a good time to test the sun kettle out in what would be kind of the coolest conditions we're going to have here for a while. And it was late afternoon sun. Started the test around 4 o'clock, a little after 4 o'clock. And when we started the test, the water in the water bottles was around 86 degrees, 86.2 I believe. So that was our starting point for all three, uh, the two controls as well as the sun kettle water. And after 30 minutes of an 88 degree day in a late afternoon, partly cloudy sky sun, our control open air measuring cup water reached up to 88.9 degrees Fahrenheit. And our sealed plain plastic water bottle reached a temperature of 92.1 degrees after 30 minutes. And the sun kettle, it reached a temperature of 98.8 degrees after 30 minutes. Not quite to the over 100 degree, approximately 120 degrees the chart on the sun kettle box claims you should have in 30 minutes. After one hour, our control open air measuring cup water reached a temperature of 90.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Our sealed plain plastic drinking water bottle after 60 minutes reached a temperature of 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Four Patriots Sun Kettle, after 60 minutes on an upper 80s, almost 90 degree day, late afternoon, partly cloudy, reached a temperature of 118.4 degrees. Again, after one hour, it reached a temperature of only 118.4 degrees. That is not anywhere near the over 200 degrees that the chart on the box claims you should reach within one hour. They have it closer to 210 degrees in an hour. We didn't get anywhere near that. We got 118.4 degrees. So within an hour, you did not get anywhere near the 160 degrees temperature needed to kill any kind of bacteria and bad stuff in the water. So it would not have made your water safe to drink in an hour under these conditions. And it's not like it's winter time, cloudy skies. <laughs> it's, it's still July, almost 90 degrees, and we didn't get to the 160 degree mark in an hour. So I was a little disappointed in that. So we wanted to give the sun kettle another chance. Well, a few days later, we had the perfect opportunity. We had an extremely hot day well over 100 degrees, probably approaching the 104, 105 degree mark. Completely sunny skies, not a cloud in the sky, just as blue as it could be, hot, hot, blistering sun. What I would consider the optimal, best case scenario conditions for a solar water heater. We had the perfect day. And we did it in the middle of the day under the hottest sun. It was approximately 2 p.m. when we started this test. And on this day, the starting temperature of our water was 84.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, that's 84.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 30 minutes, our control, the open air measuring cup, reached a temperature of 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit. It got quite a bit hotter than the 88.9 degrees Fahrenheit in the first 30 minutes of the previous test. So obviously a much hotter day. And our sealed ordinary plastic water bottle reached a temperature after 30 minutes in these blistering conditions of 106.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And the sun kettle after 30 minutes 
and over 100 degree, completely sunny, middle of the day, hot sun, reached a temperature of 129.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Way better than the 98.8 of the previous test. And I would say that for the 30 minutes, that is pretty well right in line with the chart on the box after 30 minutes. So that's pretty good. And after one hour on this very hot day test, our control open air measuring cup reached a temperature of 101.5 degrees. Again, that's 101.5 degrees. About 10 degrees hotter than it reached after an hour on our previous day. And our sealed ordinary plastic water bottle reached a temperature of 116.8 degrees Fahrenheit after 60 minutes. And that's about 20 degrees hotter than it reached after 60 minutes in our previous test. And the sun kettle after 60 minutes on an extremely hot, absolutely sunny, cloudless day reached a temperature of 163.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 163.6 degrees Fahrenheit after one hour in the blistering sun on an extremely hot day, which is pretty good. It's just over the 160 degree mark that we needed to make sure that we killed any bacteria if we were trying to use this to make sure we had safe drinking water. So after an hour, and what I consider pretty much the perfect conditions, over a 100 degree day, middle of the day, super hot sun, not a cloud in the sky, after an hour, it just barely cleared the 160 degree mark we need to make sure the water would be safe to drink if it was questionable. It is still a far cry from the over 200 degrees that the chart on the box claims it will reach in one hour. I'm not sure what kind of conditions they tested this in, but I can't imagine it was much hotter and much better sun than I had on that day. We were over 100 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. I mean, unless you were testing it in Arizona or somewhere, you know, in the middle of the summer when it's 120 degrees outside. Maybe that's where they got this chart test from, but we did not get over the 200 mark in an hour. So we kept testing though on this day because we wanted to see how hot it would get. So we just kept going, we let it ride. After 90 minutes on an over 100 degree day in the hot blistering sun with not a cloud in the sky, our control open air measuring cup sample got to a temperature of 102.7 degrees. And our ordinary sealed plastic water bottle reached a temperature of 121.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the 90 minute mark, the sun kettle reached a temperature of 198.1 degrees Fahrenheit. After 90 minutes, after an hour and a half, the sun kettle reached a temperature of 198.1. It's close, but it's still not over the 200 degree mark that it claims would be reached after only one hour on the chart on the box. So that's a little disappointing. 198.1 degrees on what I would consider to be the perfect testing day in an hour and a half still didn't get to the 200 it claims it can do. So we kept going, we let it ride again. We did up to 90 minutes, we're gonna go for two hours. So after 120 minutes, two hours in the hot, blistering Texas July sun, our control measuring cup open air water reached a temperature of 103.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Our ordinary sealed plastic drinking water bottle reached a temperature of 124.3 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the sun kettle, after two hours, that's 120 minutes in the hot, sweltering July, Texas sun reached a temperature of 212.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 212.4 degrees Fahrenheit. We are over now the 200 degree mark that the chart on the box claims that this sun kettle would achieve. Only difference is the box claims it would achieve that in 60 minutes. It took us two hours under what I would consider to be the perfect testing conditions for a solar water heater. It took two hours to get over 200 degrees. And at that 200 degrees, we actually just started getting a little bit of bubbling from inside the sun kettle. Until that point, there was no indication of what the temperature of the water actually was, you know, how hot it was, other than uh, we were measuring it, and had you touched it, it would have felt hot. 
uh, but there was no visible steam, there was no bubbling, nothing until after the two hours and we were over the 200 degrees. Uh, when we opened it, we had just a little bit of bubbles, just a little bit. And this was our first indication that the water was, you know, heating up considerably, uh, which is good, but not great. My final thoughts, my opinion on the Four Patriots Sun Kettle. My opinion is, it's okay. And it's kind of gimmicky, that's my opinion. <laughs> so, and uh, if you want kind of a gimmicky item to set out in the sun and potentially heat water up hot enough to make you some hot chocolate or some coffee, probably hot enough you know, to use those freeze-dried meals to you know, make them a little bit warmer, this will probably be okay for that on a very sunny, pretty warm day. However, please do not rely on this or use this to make safe drinking water out of potentially unsafe drinking water. Please do not do that. There is no way without a thermometer to know how hot the water is getting inside this thing. We tested it all the way over the 200 degree mark. It took two hours in basically the perfect conditions you would want to test a solar water heater. It took over two hours to finally get over 200 and to finally get a little bit of a visible sign that something was happening and it was maybe hot enough to consider that it had been purified, if you will. So please do not rely on this or use this to get yourself or your family safe drinking water. I do not think it should be marketed or advertised as such. There's no way to tell once you've reached a good enough temperature. You definitely can't go by the chart on their box um, based on the minutes and the time it's been in the sun because I've proven today that that chart is just not accurate even under the most optimal conditions. It's just not accurate, so please don't rely on that. Please don't use this to try to make safe drinking water. That's very dangerous. It could get somebody very sick. You know, if you base it off their chart and you didn't reach at least 160 degrees, um, to kill off the bacteria and all the nasty stuff in the water, you're getting sick at the very least. So please do not use this for that. Now, if you want a gimmicky item that's kind of cool, kind of cute, you know, maybe a conversation piece, you know, with the people out at your uh, SHTF property or hunting property, okay, this is good for that, you know, so. <laughs> it is good in the sense that it does warm up the water from the sun. Does it warm up as well as good as they say it does? No, not even close. So as long as you're not relying on this for safe drinking water, um, you know, you can have fun with it. Try to heat up some water for, you know, a freeze dried meal or something like that. Great. Uh, but other than that, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, you know, I'd recommend, you know, various filters out there and whatnot. And, um, you know, then something like this first, if you're, you know, looking at safe drinking water and also this is no commentary on the four patriots company or their food or anything in general um, as a matter of fact um, the buddy that got this actually um, had a couple issues uh, with one of the packages that the food arrived in and the customer service was actually fabulous they took care of them within like a day or two had the new item so their customer service and everything according to him uh, was actually really good. So this is not a dig on the company or anything like that. This is just this particular product. Um, it just doesn't seem to me to heat it up as hot as advertised. Um, so that's disappointing, you know. Um, it's just disappointing. There's nothing else I can say about that. <laughs> so again, don't use it for safe drinking water. Please don't do that. Well, thank you for watching today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button down below. And if you like this video, you might like what else we're doing. So go ahead and subscribe and you'll see more from TNT Outdoors. All right. Well, thanks again and have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button. And be sure to subscribe for more TNT Outdoors exclusive content.